All right, bros, we're down here at the sea bus. <laughs> How's this? No. Um, come on, mate, get it together. No, we're, we're down here at the sea bus, mate. Um, how, do you, how do you find the recovery down here, getting in the water? Are you a fan of it? No, it wasn't too bad. It was a bit of a cleansing, cleansing session today with the boys. Got in a bit of a circle. Um, Told a few funny jokes and uh, yeah, all well and good. You got any funny jokes? No, mate, nothing. nothing You're a funny man, I probably to share. Now, obviously, you played your first game on the weekend. How did you find the lead up and the, I suppose, when you found out, telling your family, things like that? I had set GWS game as, as a goal about yeah, six, five, six weeks ago with um, with Pebs. So yeah, and then Bucks just messaged me and was like, "Come into my office." So, yeah, rocked up and he's like, yeah. Were you nervous going in? Did you think you were going to get the nod or? With Joel's and Hutto yeah. being like injured, like, knew it was I knew it was like Reedy and like Trav were kind of like stirring me up, but I didn't want to like get my hopes up. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just had to yeah, stay calm. Game day, I know I spoke to you when you got there yeah. and you talked about how exciting it was, this yeah. the opportunity and it's like a lifelong goal that you're about to achieve to, um, to sort of live up to expectations getting out there and playing? Yeah, well, I actually like rocked up. I was like an hour early. Well, I had lunch and that at home, but didn't really want to sit around home, so I decided to get there early and just start my preparation. Um, you know, certainly, I know that I don't have the chance to throughout the week because of how hard and physical you are, so that's all we ask you to bring today. And all our sports will come to you if uh, you want to end the bar and you look after some of us. Thanks, mate. It was pretty nerve-wracking to start off with, but um, once you get out there and, and the siren kind of goes, like, was in the centre, started off in the centre square. How were you when you found out that you were... Because most people start their first game, they probably start on the bench yeah. or deep forward. How did you find actually getting to start taking the first centre bounce of the game? I was, yeah, I took it as, like, a really good opportunity to try and yeah, put my best foot forward, and obviously um, I was a little bit shocked that he, put, I suppose, put faith in me to... Um, to start the game off, but um, yeah, it's definitely a good good experience to start the game like that. So on the weekend, mate, obviously you had a few people come down. Yeah, so as, as soon as I found out, like I just called my called my my family, my mum, and my dad, um, then got on the phone, messaged my, my all my mates, and a few of them got on a road trip, came down. So I had to organise all their tickets and stuff. I was almost is stress, worrying about trying to look after them and then playing the game and um, yeah it was obviously I was re really happy that my friends you know came down and supported me and um, obviously my family too and got a load of messages and um, yeah it was it was good. What about after the game sort of soreness and things like that and pulled up a lot sore than, yeah, than no, normal? Yeah, yeah a lot sore um, after the game uh, straight in like I was cramping in the last you know, middle of, of the fourth quarter. Most people cramp in their first game. Yeah, so no. Welcome to the club, mate. Was, I, know I went down with cramp. Yeah, it was pretty solid. And then after the game, just felt like an old man. I was like hunched over. Old oh, man. Um, what are you, 19? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, you've but, got Hutto's 34, so you've only got 15 more years of that to go. How are you finding your, your first year as a whole? I suppose, what do you like about AFL football? It's a good job. Like, obviously, yeah. you wake up every morning, you, you get paid to do something that you love doing and you get to keep fit and um, you know the one thing I really enjoy about you know being at Collingwood is you every day you get opportunity to get better um, so especially with like the development team like with Pebs and Fly just always you know trying to better you if it's as a footballer or even just as a person so for me it's like trying to be on time like my, at the moment so I can transfer that with my footy and also you know, outside of footy, so that's why I made sure my first game I was an hour an early. Hour early, yeah. you got that down pat. Yeah. Um, well, mate, you more than handled yourself very well in your first game. Um, you know, I was right to be out there with you and, and be yeah. part of it, so well done. Thanks, Scott. <laughs>